What's up, everybody? Welcome to Transition Tuesdays for this Tuesday, November 29th, 2022. I am your host, Russ Williams. I'm so glad you could be here today. Ladies and gentlemen, Transition Army, I know you could have been anywhere in this world today. You could have been anywhere in this world today, but you decided to be here with me. I appreciate that. And more importantly, I appreciate you. On this Transition Tuesdays, we have an action-packed show once again. I have a special guest back here once again. We're going to go over the information that we have for you. But before I do that, I always like to state my intentions. And my intention is to give you the opportunity to laugh, smile, think, and engage in honest conversations about your life's transition. So that's what we do here on Transition Tuesdays. And we have back here the lovely Miss Felicia Evans Long. We are going to talk. Well, first off, hello, ma'am. How are you, Miss Sweetness? <laughs> hey, Russ. How are you? I'm doing checking, good. Checking in from the rock. Checking in from the rock. That's right. That's right. Checking in from the rock live and in color. See, I had to get the lights now. You know, the lighting much better. You know, I had to light my guest up. And, you know, but she doesn't need light to be lit up, you know, because that's what she does. That's what she does. <laughs> So, Felicia, let's talk. So, first of all, I want to thank you for allowing me to be a part of uh, your, your Thanksgiving. You know, I, you know, full disclosure for everybody, I was down in North Carolina, and I had my first Thanksgiving with Miss Felicia, and we had it down south, and I had refried, what's it, refried turkey? I never had that before. Deep fried turkey. Deep fried turkey. There you go. I, I didn't have that either. <laughs> first time I had both of those. So I had that. It was an amazing experience, you know, with your family and friends. Oh, man, it was an amazing experience, man. So how, how did it feel being back home for Thanksgiving there, Felicia? Oh, man, it's always good to be back um, down south for us for Thanksgiving. There's no place like home. I am a southern girl to the core, so it's like the moment, you know, you pull up, it's like kickoff issues. I mean, walk around the house, bare feet kind of girl. So mm -hmm. it was Corliss, yes. Shout out to Corliss. <laughs> Absolutely. And shout out to Miss O.D. Man, amazing spread, you know, with the food and the desserts and everything, an assortment of pies. Oh, man, so many to imagine. Man, you know, shout out to our cousin Noah, too, who made the turkey and everything. Oh, it was just amazing. It was just an amazing time, an amazing event, because we were there. We were there for the 10-year extravaganza for Sweet Candy Cafe. So Felicia, if you can, you know, give us a little recap, and, and I just want to share this with the with the viewing uh, public. You know, this this item here is the program. This was the program to the event with the lovely Miss Felicia Evans Long on here. Oh my God, look at this picture here. I, I gotta I gotta keep this, but this is mine. You can't have this back, Felicia. I'm keeping this one here. Okay, first off. <laughs> But programs were given out. But but Felicia, if you would just just recap the event on the twenty sixth of November, what went down, and you know you know what was the takeaway from it for you? Yeah, absolutely. So thank you again, Russ, for having me. Mm -hmm. um, this is so important for me to just to kind of be here to say you know thank you you know to you and your your, your viewers and your your followers. Mm -hmm. um, the biggest takeaway for me, I think, is just just seeing like the end result. You know, we have been. You know, several months, like eight to nine months of just planning, yeah. just logistics of, you know, how do you bring a high, pay, a high peak tent, you know, to the space. But we done it five years ago, so we have been out since five years. We know mm -hmm. the vendors that we used five years ago, you know, were no longer in existence, you know, due to COVID. So we had to kind of, you know, replan everything. And just to see everything, you know, you know, come together. Um, mm -hmm. We had a lot of our vendors to donate, you know, complimentary candies and goodies. And then we had a lot of uh, custom cotton candy, you know, flown in. Yeah. From Los Angeles, and uh, we had local businesses in Lumberton that made um, custom um, candy apples, and we had a, a, a icy truck, and we had a photo mm -hmm. booth. We had um, Tyron Williams provide a photography service from Durham, North Carolina. We had mm -hmm. Bounty House, you know, face painting. You know, I really wanted people to to come and just really, really, you know, have a good time. I mean, it was just about all about sweet fun. I mean, literally sweet fun. We wanted people to have a really, really, really good time. I mean, just, you know, to leave, you know, feeling that, that like they were appreciated. 
mm-hmm. you know, in the community. And then people, um, also, it was also Shop Small Saturday, as you know, and so we had a lot of Shop Small Swag, you know, courtesy of American Express, yeah. who, who we built a really good relationship with, and they sent us, you know, additional swag to make sure that we had enough to, you know, serve the community mm-hmm. as well as um, the Lumberton community um, officials and judges and people that came out to support. So it was really, really good. It was a fantastic day. You know, in sales, in store, and online, and so we are truly, truly thankful. You know, for that, uh, the people who sent me a text said, "Hey, Felicia, you know, I'm not a big candy person, you know, so where can I write a check? You know, make a check payable to mm-hmm. people who cash app. I mean, that's 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 really big for us, and I mean that is like most important. That people was able to, you know, walk away with their their shop small bags, you know, on their hand, you know, and and, and have those shop small bags to be like cool. So if you're traveling back to Raleigh. If you're back to Durham or traveling back to North Carolina, North I mean, New York, like you and Polish was. I mean, right. you have abundant <laughs> confectionery and junk food, you know, to, to nibble on. So you didn't, you didn't walk away hungry. I mean, between the ices and the candies mm-hmm. and all that other good stuff, mm-hmm. like it was plenty, um, plenty for everybody to enjoy. Ten cent pop, ten cent popcorn. That's right, ten cent popcorn. Oh, boy, that's right in my alley there, as you know. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, it was a great time. And speaking of great times, we got Lynn on the check-in. What's going on, Lynn? Welcome to Transition Tuesdays. And Lynn's... Oh, yep. Yes, uh-huh. Yes, and Lynn added, she says, and a good time it was we had. Oh, yes, absolutely. It was great seeing you, Lynn, as well. Man, yep. Great. Oh, man. And you talked about that... Lynn is, mm-hmm. Lynn is my, my lifesaver. You know, the candy lifesaver. Yeah. Lynn, Lynn the lifesaver. I mean, mm-hmm. she... Yes, absolutely. And you mentioned that swag, that Amex swag bag. I got mine. <laughs> I got mine, guys. You got to get yours, too. Over $40 purchase. You can have that. Man, again, and again, that bag was packed with goodies. And uh, that's what they do at Sweet Candy Cafe. You know, they pack you up, man. They <laughs> that This whole bag was full. I, you know, I'm still working on the candy that I have. So, you know, it, it was a great time, you know, and I'm, and I'm glad, Felicia, you mentioned about the events and everything. What was felt not to be mentioned was I was the bartender. So as people don't know, Felicia, I am a mixologist, not just talking about music, too, you know. So <laughs> I was behind the bar that day. I was I was so glad to, you know, to help and contribute, you know, and, and to the success of, of the event. You know, that was great, too. Also, there was a cigar bar, too, you know, compliments of Felicia, too, you know. Man, it was a lot of stuff, a lot of great things, man. A lot of great things for the kids and for the adults. And the DJ was out there, too, pumping the sounds, you know. Oh, man, electric slides was going down and, you know, all the candy songs, you know, candy-related songs. All that was, it was such a high, you know, high, high octane, a lot of fun, you know, had by all. So, man, Felicia, you know, you know, and, and, you know, the great thing, I was really proud of you. You know, I'm always proud of you, you know, that's really, but, uh, you know, the thing I was really proud of was you made this a community event. This was for the community, you know, coming out for Sweet Candy Cafe, coming out for you, you know, as, as Miss Sweetness, you know, the Queen of Lovington, that's what I call her. Uh, <laughs> you know, but they came out for you. You so enthralled with the Cure community and giving back. So talk to me a little bit about that there, Felicia, because that's just something that you, you know, you just do. That's just something that's in you.
the presence to my local um, home church of First Baptist. Wow. Uh, and and um, through uh, Pastor uh, Paul Matthews, um, mm-hmm. we donate to the. We we'll also donate, um, you know, gifts to the to the pediatrics unit to to babies that are in the hospital for holidays. And so wow. I've done that every year for almost ten years. Wow. And uh, making sure that you know, you know, that I'm able to leave a little footprint, you know positive direction, you know, in my hometown. So mm-hmm. I just think it's just the right thing to do. It's just a good feeling. Um, you know, I mean, I don't, I don't really need much, you know, every now and then a, a nice, uh, <laughs> I'm so tiny from the other day, a nice icy or you know, anybody know me, know how much I love a, a frozen icy. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Absolutely, absolutely. So Lynn goes on to say, uh, let me just read what Lynn was saying, and then we got another person I have to say hello and give a shout out to. So Lynn says, uh, she says, thank you for everything, and she says, to God be the glory. No doubt about that. And Lynn, Lynn also says she got her bag, she got her swag bag too. She got that. And speaking of swag and speaking of good friends, we got Tanya Crump. On the check in. What's going on, TC? Welcome to Transition Tuesdays. Oh my God. Tanya, that's my girl, too. Oh my God. Let me just say something about Lynn. I owe Lynn a Sweet Candy Cafe uh, long sleeve t shirt. Russell, she saw your t shirt and she was like, Where's my t shirt? <laughs> yes. So, Lynn, Lynn, it's in the mail. I promise you, Lynn Dockery, it is in the mail. Tanya, Tanya has been with us, you know, for mm-hmm. 10 years. Mm-hmm. But the in business she has done like all of our payroll and you know ca- you know all of our you know taxes and just took care of you know the business side of that mm-hmm. and um, I mean we're thankful that we could actually really bless her really good on Saturday. Mm-hmm. I like to be like her gift. So <laughs> yes, <laughs> yeah, and and he. And here, here I was transition army. I was there for the event. I'm there to work because Felicia will put you to work. All right, so she put me to work. I'm behind the bar. You know, next thing you know, the the DJ saying everybody she wants to come up front, and then next thing you know, you got Felicia giving out presents to people, and I was one of the person she gave a present to, which I was totally surprised at that. I mean, I appreciate it, you know, I, but I didn't think I was worthy of a present first of all, so. But I appreciate that. But this this is you, Felicia. This is you, you know, giving thanks and, you know, being grateful for the people who help you get to this 10-year landmark, you know, 10-year anniversary landmark. Thank you. And Russell, thank you to you. I mean, let's not forget, I mean, you had some beautiful, beautiful flowers delivered on Saturday. Mm-hmm. So oh. thank you, honey. I mean, that, I mean that, was, that was a surprise. And I just wanted to say how much, you know, that brought me to tears. And I am mm-hmm. so thankful. Super, 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 super thoughtful. That was really nice, Russell, and I appreciate that. Uh, no problem. I want to give you your flowers while we're here. You know what I mean? I, I'm I'm all big on that. I say that a lot, you know, when I have guests on here. But I want to literally give you your flowers, you know, because you deserve it. I mean, 10 years in business, small business owner. Man, I tell you, I mean, it's amazing, you know. Uh, a, a black woman as well, you know. I, I, love, I love that. I don't know if people can see the... Uh, your, your decal that you have, they would say, uh, black entrepreneurship. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what it's all about, man. It's just a struggle. You know, people just think, you know, and I want to share this with the group, you know, with, with the Transition Army. You know, Felicia, what she does, what she does, you know, people think it's just easy. But there's a lot of work that goes into it. There's a lot of planning that goes into it. You know, there's a lot of blood, blood sweat, and tears that go into it. But here's a young lady who makes it look so easy because she is so organized and thorough with what she does. So, you know, that's why I like, you know, hear a lot of people, oh man, you mean on Felicia, man, it looks so easy. No, it's a lot of her. She puts in the work. You put in the work. I see it firsthand, Felicia. Thank you. And I just want to say for the record that it is not easy, you know, mm-hmm. um, as well as, you know, the people that work for me, they know, you know, I'm, I'm in the 
Washington, D.C. area. My storefront is in North Carolina. And for seven consistent years, I, I went down twice twice a month to North Carolina. And I've kind of like taken a little break and reduced that to once a month consistently. But mm-hmm. it's a lot. And you, you have to stay committed, you know. Yeah. Because, or, you know, if, if you walk in the store and you're excited about your business, you know, that, that excitement becomes infectious. And so your staff, you know, will, 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 will mirror that same enthusiasm, that same enthusiasm. Right. So I have to make sure that, that I show up and continue with the high energy for my small business because my energy is what motivates, you know, my team. And that's kind of how I like it and how I want to keep it, you know. I mm-hmm. make sure that we educate them on confectionery and the things that, that I um, that I may find out, you know, I make sure that my team, you know, kind of knows about, you know, what's going on in the confectionery, you know, industry. So I just think it's just keeping the team motivated is, is the biggest thing, you know, for me. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Perfect. Yeah, absolutely. We got Tanya. Tanya's being funny. Tanya says, yes, you work for food, Russ. Absolutely. I do work for food. No doubt about it. Yes, I do. <laughs> Especially with it. Yep. 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 <laughs> Yep. Uh huh. You walk in this candy store. I don't want to hear about the diet. I don't want to hear about you know uh-uh. points. Another day, you know, mm-hmm. I want you to come in and 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 then have you know you know whatever it is that you want to have. That's for sure. Absolutely, absolutely. And Tanya went on to also say, "Is yes, she puts in the work. No doubt about it. You do as well, John. Tanya, you do too. Y'all ladies put in the work." To make it a success story. Because this is a success story. 10 years. There's not businesses that have been around for like 10 minutes. Let alone 10 years. You know. It's, it's, yes, you're welcome. You're so yeah, welcome. I mean, like I said, you know. Tanya, I tell you. She, she, she keeps me straight. And mm-hmm. I, I, think, I think everybody needs a, a sister friend like that. Yep. You know, So I'm so understanding. She knows how to get in here and like really like break it down so I can understand because sometimes, you know, when you're dealing with the IRS and business taxes and all this kind of stuff, it's not easy. But but Tanya has really been the vehicle, you know, in in driving that for me and Mm -hmm. teaching me, you know, you know, as well. So I'm thankful for that. Absolutely. And we got Ann. Ann is clapping. Ann Crump Blunt. She's clapping her hands. Shout out to you, Ann. Welcome to Transition Tuesdays. We got a newbie here, so she's joining us, talking about her sister. <laughs> yeah, so, so, yeah, so, so Ann and Ann and Tanya are sisters, and Ann is like my little, little sister that I never had, and we kind of mm. both grew up together. Mm-hmm. But, um, yeah, and Ann and Ann is a sweetheart as well, and um, we had sold out of Chico sticks, so when Ann came on Sunday, <laughs> yeah. Ann No, no. <laughs> and speaking of, go, go, please. I'm sorry. No, you go. I'm sorry. Absolutely, absolutely. And speaking of sweet, and speaking like a person that's like kind of a sister to me, I got my cousin Kim on the check-in. She's congratulating you there, Felicia. So congrats, uh, thank you for joining us, Kim, cousin Kim, like my sister cuz. Thank you for joining us. I appreciate you for coming on. Cousin Kim. <laughs> yep, absolutely. Hey, Felicia, I'll get you out of here. I just got one more question for you that I never even asked you this question. And then I'm going to go, you know, we're going to talk about how people can still order because the party ain't over yet. It ain't over yet. You know, people can still order. But so, Felicia, how did, what does success mean to you? Like that word success. Like, what does that mean to you? Success. Mm-hmm. friends all tell me that I am definitely a project manager. 
Absolutely. No, that's great. Yep. And you are a success story, you know, with what you do as the as Miss Sweetness, the candy lady, what have what you do with your other venues as well, ventures as well. You are a success story and you need to be talked about. And you know, this is like recent history what you're doing there, Felicia. And I'm so proud of you and, and what you've been doing and everything as well. So Felicia, last thing, and then we gotta do to pay a couple bills here. But last thing I wanted to, you know, let you know or ask you about was, okay, you know, some people, you might have missed the, the, the extravaganza. And I'm calling it extravaganza. That was an event that I witnessed on the 26th, first of all, for Sweet Candy, K, Sweet Candy Cafe celebrate 10 years of a decade of excellence. So, you know, if those people missed it, that's okay. But you can still order, right, Felicia? You can still order and you can still get the, the Amex swag that's still available as well. Sure. So, number one, I want to say, in addition to the 10th anniversary, there was also a little celebration for my 50th birthday. Yes. You know, as a lot of people know that, you know, we were we were snowed in on my 50th birthday, you know, on Park Avenue. Yep. At the St. Reed, which is a great place to be snowed in. Absolutely. Plus the service, and that was really nice, and, you know, the place was, you know, immaculate, so that was fine. But I wanted to also, you know, celebrate with friends, and so, you know, having a celebration, you know, my 50th birthday during it's a good way to kind of like get you know friends and everybody you know there and I thought it was a you know really a really treat you know to do that which was a lot of a lot a lot of fun to, to do mm-hmm. and then so and then the second thing is I want to talk about real quickly is the I Candy Kids Wear Blazer program mm-hmm. um, young girls about professionalism it was so sweet to see our first cohort you know at our store anniversary on Saturday they started out at like ages 7 and 8 and people That's were right. teenagers right. and so so that was just that was just a treat. Let's look at it. like I'm not a mommy, I'm not a parent. It was just kind of good to see like oh my god, the young ladies that I'm mentoring, you know, they are now teenagers and then they all showed up in their black business blazers and that just yep. that just warmed my heart. That that just that just warmed my heart. So I can't say enough about that. Mm-hmm. But um, lastly, I will say that um, if you if we still have a lot of American Express shop small swag um, available, like I said, American Express was super generous. Mm-hmm. Um, we just still have some bags left, which is great. Um, so if you want to shop while supplies last, you know, every order will come with a shop small swag bag. I think that's uh-huh. good when you're out and about yeah. rocking a small swag bag. It just shows people that, hey, you know, you, you support small businesses. And I think that that's, that's, a, that's a real big thing to, to highlight and show mm-hmm. that you support small businesses, which I think is really great. Mm-hmm. But yeah, you can still shop Sweet Candy Cafe, like it sounds, sweetcandycafe.com, three words. Yeah, don't delay, ladies and gentlemen. Get your swag bag. I'm going to show it again. Let me show this in the camera again. This swag bag, I'll tell you. And they fill you up nicely, too. You know, a Sweet Candy Cafe, you know, they'll 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 take care of that order and they'll throw a little couple of little sample sizes of stuff in there, all types of candy, stuff you wasn't even thinking about will be in that swag bag as well when you purchase over $40 or more. So take advantage of it. Mm-hmm. Yep. That, is, that, is, that is so sweet. Like I said, we had a lot of vendors who donated, like, a variety of stuff. We had, I mean, Slim Jim, we had Salt Water Cafe, we had um, uh, uh, Cotton Candy. Yeah. I mean, So whenever we have left, we will definitely throw some items, you know, in your shop small swag bag. 
Mm-hmm. Because I mean, I think everybody left Saturday dressed up with a sugar rush. Yep. I mean, <laughs> Good. Sugar rush, like purple tongue. Uh huh. <laughs> Nah, it was an awesome day. It was phenomenal. I, I, it was it was great. And and I got Kim. So Kim says, uh, awesome accomplishment to you, Felicia. You know, so she says that for you. And Lynn talks about that red velvet, those red velvet cupcakes on the money. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, absolutely. So hold on one second. For, for Felicia, I want to talk to the Transition Army really quick. So if we were able to make you laugh, smile, and think during this broadcast, you have accomplished something amazing, amazing, and something major, my friends, today. So celebrate your victory. We got Felicia celebrating the 10th year anniversary. You know, that was a, vic- a victorious event. Celebrate. You got something to celebrate it. Celebrate your victory today. So I want to thank you guys for the bottom of my heart for you watching Transition Tuesdays each and every Tuesday. Um, you can always go to our YouTube channel, Transition Tuesdays, and watch this episode and past episodes as well. So you can do go and check that out. And when you do that, make sure you like and subscribe before you leave the channel. I greatly appreciate it. You can follow me on Instagram at Russ Will Transitions. That's Russ Will Transitions with an S. You can follow me. How can people follow you, Felicia? Mm-hmm. There you go. Gotcha. Absolutely. Yep. And I want to give a shout out once again to my special guest, Felicia Evans Long, aka the Candy Lady, aka Miss Sweetness, aka Miss Kindness, aka Miss Glamorous. A lot of AKAs you got. Stop it. <laughs> Uh, No problem, no problem. So ladies and gentlemen, Transition Army, as we say in parting, happy transitioning, and we'll speak to you soon. Take care, everybody. God bless. Thank you, Felicia. Thank you, honey. All right.